In 2016, DJ LeMahieu won the NL batting title for the Colorado Rockies and showed he was an elite hitter. And since he won it in Colorado, many doubted him as an elite hitter. And in 2020, he won the AL batting title with the Yankees. In this video, I share the three keys on why he won both batting titles and what you can learn if you're a young hitter looking to improve your game. So the first reason on why he won the batting titles is seeing the ball deeper or thinking about hitting the ball to your opposite field gap when you see the ball deeper or think towards your opposite field gap you give yourself a chance to make better reactionary decision what that means is that let's say that you are batting and you see a pitch that looks like a fastball and at the last second it starts sliding off out of the strike zone instead of swinging at that pitch you will not swing at it because you gave yourself just a little more time because you were thinking of hitting the ball to the opposite field gap and this is what dj lemayhew does and the result is that he controls the strike zone at an elite level very elite level in fact he is nearly one to one when it comes to strikeout and walks what that means is that in 2020 he had an 8.3 percent walk percentage and a 9.7 percent strikeout percentage which means he nearly walked 10 percent of his at bats and struck out nearly 10 percent of the time what's impressive is that he is only striking out nearly 10 percent of his bats that's very very low very very low so as you can see when you see the ball deeper you don't chase pitches that most players do you force pitchers to throw the fastball more because you don't chase their pitches and this results to being a very very tough out and pitchers get annoyed by players who are tough outs another thing that happens when you see the ball deeper is you will hit the ball more to the opposite field in fact check this out i know you may be a bit confused when you see these dots on the screen but stay with me the blue dots represent where he hits his doubles and the green dots represent his singles notice where majority of the dots are they are to the opposite field majority of his singles are up the middle and to the right side and majority of his doubles are to right field as well this is because he is letting the ball travel or in other words letting the ball get deeper so if you're a young player when you are in the cage or taking bp drive the ball to your opposite field gap practice this until it becomes super super easy to you perfect your craft this is how you will become a tough out and the player pitchers are annoyed by so the next reason he won those titles is because he is choosing to hit for contact in fact if it's inside the strike zone he hits it 94 percent of the time now i know everyone is so crazy for power but he does hit for power occasionally he just isn't high risk high reward type player this is why i like him because in a game where everyone is praising home runs this guy is doing what he has done since i played against him he is being the best version of himself and not changing his game for modern times this means he's playing to his strengths and not his weaknesses and when you play to your strengths you are more confident you know what you do well and you work around your weaknesses in fact when we dive deeper into his stats we see that in 2020 he had a 370 batting average with balls batted in play which means that on balls batted in play excluding home runs and strikeouts or balls where the defense couldn't defend he was hitting impressive 370 this means that he was not giving Giving in and he wasn't missing and again he is playing to his strengths which is contact see when you choose to hit for contact you are mentally dialed in on every pitch and you are not going to let the pitcher beat you in any way possible now i'm not telling you to go out there and just try to get contact you still need and want to hit the ball hard if you ever want to become a batting champion you know what I would let you hear from DJ LeMahieu himself. I'm not interested in what you don't try to do too much. Tell me what you try to do. Uh, well, I try to hit the crap out of the ball. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now we're talking, baby. Yeah. DJ, I love that MVP, attitude. baby. <laughs> As you can see, when you strive for contact, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are giving up on hitting the ball hard. You want to get in there and get a pitch you can hit hard. And if you do this consistently, you will get high level results. In fact, when we look at his stats, we see that he hits the ball hard 45% of the time. And when you hit the ball hard, as hard as he does, and that consistent, you are going to get high level results. So if you're a young player looking to improve your contact rate, there are a few things you can do. But first, 
smash that like button if you're enjoying this. By smashing the like button, it helps me reach more players and it's totally free. Also subscribe to the channel if you're new. We talk baseball here, we do reactions, we talk business and athletes, and we are growing. And thank you for hitting the like button and subscribing. So if you're a young player looking to improve your contact, there are a few things I would recommend. You can juggle, this helps your hand-eye coordination and something I did before I started my practicing. It definitely helps in getting things fired up and moving. Another thing you could do is play pepper. Pepper will allow you to control the barrel and is another way of improving your hand-eye coordination. And the last thing you can do is practice everyday hitting. The more you practice, the better you would get. Baseball is a skill, which means you can get better at it. The last reason on why he is a two-time batting champion is having a repeatable swing and repeatable mechanics. When you have a repeatable swing and mechanics, this allows you to see the ball deeper and make consistent contact. In fact, notice his swing in this video. See how he has a wide base. In other words, he is in his lower half and has a wide stance. And since he is in his lower half and has a wide stance, notice how when he strides, he is not striding so far. Notice that he is balanced the entire time while he swings. Notice how he puts himself in a balanced position. See the lower half or in other words, the base is the most important part of hitting. If you're not balanced, you will not be able to take your best swing. And this is why he is so consistent because he always puts himself in a good position to hit. If you're wondering what I mean when I say good position, let's look at his swing again. Notice the weight distribution in his lower half. You want to be 50-50 or 60-40 with more weight on your backside, but not too much where you're starting to spin off the ball. Notice how he is balanced. This is where you want to be. When you are in this position, it allows you to get your A swing off as often as possible. So if you enjoyed this, you would have loved my swing breakdown videos over here. These videos are packed with a lot of value. So definitely go over here and check them and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.